it's Margie and I'm Chloe from Marjolus Creations. Creations and welcome to today's vlog podcast episode three like three. grade three the grade Micah is in yes so the kids have started school I'm in grade five and they've got um, some of the same teachers they had last year which was really nice um, yeah yeah uh, so that's going good um, at the end of the video, I've got some videos that we took towards the end of the summer. And we forgot to put in the video. And I forgot to put in the last, the last one we did, episode two, because I forgot. Couldn't, I don't know. I was compiling it, videos. This, and... sh this woman suffers from short-term memory loss. Hi, I'm Marge. I suffer from short-term memory loss. No, your name's Dory. I'm Dory. You're Dory. <laughs> Except you're not as bad as Dory because you didn't forget. You don't forget who any of your parents are. No, I don't. Didn't forget my parents. And but yeah, no, it was just it was uh, complicated. I don't know. Uh, migraine and memory loss due to post -con post concussion trauma. So it was just it's something that it damaged the ability to store new memories. And so I'm slowly getting better, but it, I still have my moments of. Hi, um, I'm Dory. Um. Um. Um, trying to say frying pan. Yeah, exactly. Trying to say frying pan. I'm staring at the frying pan. I can't say the word frying pan. She's picturing it in her head. It's just she can't turn the picture into a word. Yeah, exactly. So so some things like that have messed up, but <laughs> that's okay. Right. It happens. Um, so what we've been doing? Talked a little bit about school. Oh, I re-injured my shoulder. <laughs> Complications broken. Yeah, uh, so... Right? When I injured my shoulder in the last day of January, um, I tore the rotator cuff muscle. So there's a whole bunch of different muscles that basically allow your arm to go like this. To go side... no. To go sideways. To go like that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you just totally whacked me. That's okay. No, I um, you. And so... I didn't mean to hit you. Because of it not healing properly and not having the money to go to physiotherapy, it, the way your body works is it throws, oh, <laughs> speaking of hitting each other, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. The way the body heals. The way the body heals is it throws calcium to the damaged muscles to help heal. And so if you're... Depending on how it's injured, it can the calcification can the calcium can turn basically in. turn into deposits, which kind of turns into kind of like really hard like deposits, a, like mineral deposits. Almost like a rock inside your yeah, shoulder. kind of. And so what happens is that needs to slowly tear and work its way to get better. Well, we went and visited the chiropractor, which was very good. Pop. The adjustments were great, but uh, the adjustment uh, tore tore up the calcification. And it sounded like oh, it, was, it was it was a pop crunch and then it sounded like someone just went right to the paper. It, it was disgusting. Mm -hmm. So uh, so I've been dealing with it being re basically re-injured. I do have more movement than I did when I originally injured it so that's good and I've been continually and we told moving. not to do what the doctor said because the doctor said not to move it which did that to my Yeah, the doctor was like keep it sling when I injured it the first time the doctor was like keep it in a sling and keep it not moving so that it can heal. And that didn't work. So I've just been, I've been doing stretches and everything. And I didn't, I've, it's been about three weeks since I've knit or crocheted. And, um, you were knitting today, weren't you? But I was knitting today. And I'm working on, um... Baby blanket for my auntie's daughter. Yes. And Baby it's actually daughter. coming along quite well. Because her grandma knitted her a blanket. It wasn't her grandma, it was somebody else. Oh, knitted her a blanket, and she's attached to the blanket, and she won't sleep without the blanket. And you can't, if she can't take it away to get, and you can't take it away to get washed. Yeah, exactly. So, so I'm making her another blanket. That looks exactly like it. Except we're leaving off the different colored border. Uh, on our last vlog, we celebrated my Marjolus Creations sixth anniversary, <laughs> and yes, she threw glitter all over us. Um, but during that, uh, so during that week or whatever, over 42,000 people saw my anniversary post. And, uh, so that was between the downloading of the free patterns, which was awesome, 
and we had I did a draw for the anniversary and and Jessica from Regina ended up winning that one, so it was really nice. Um, uh, speaking of 42, Mom's shirt is Marvin from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I'm going to yep. imitate him. Life. Don't talk to me about life. Yes. Uh, so my friend um, gave me this shirt. It's a little big, but that's okay. I still Mom gave it. me my Wonder Woman shirt, and I'm wearing it today. It's a Yay. bit big. It's a little big on her. But she'll grow into it, and that's okay. Um, so what else? What we've been up to? So we had the expo last weekend, which was a lot of fun. I didn't get to go this year because I planned to <clears throat> I planned to sleep over with my friend, and then um, turns out it was on the week of expo, and so I had to decide between expo or friend, and I ended up picking friend. And which we, was a good thing. Um, we stayed up till one in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there was a lot of cool, really cool things that happened at the expo. Um, saw a lot of different friends, amazing costumes. I actually dressed up as Wonder Woman. And yes, Wonder Woman. And Chloe's addition to my costume was my invisible jet. <laughs> She was like, Mom, you need to fly your invisible jet around. I'm like, well, I'm going to look kind of silly just going like this. No, 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 no. Mom, here, have the Wii controller. So I walked around with the Wii controller, like the steering wheel, and I was flying my jet. And there were a lot of Wonder Women there, but I was the only one with my invisible jet. And she had it hooked on her... Yeah, I hooked it on my lanyard. Um, and yeah, so we'll, I'll put all of the pictures and stuff I took from the expo at the end of the video as well. Because there was a lot of fun at the expo. Mm. It's great. Um, so, somebody else. Okay. I found no, something. No, 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 no. I found my true love. Comic books. <laughs> so I'm, yeah. I'm really glad like she started reading a lot lately and she started reading some comic books. Yes. Uh, like Calvin and Hobbes <laughs> and, and Smurfs and superheroes. superheroes. Especially Spider-Man. He's my favorite. Oh, really? He's my favorite. Oh, Other okay. than the girl. He's, he's, he's kind of dorky. <laughs> the, one of the books I read, he had a daughter who had the spider powers with Mary J. And um, she becomes a superhero, too. And then at the end of the book, um, Spider-Man beats the bad guy with a dad joke. And his, da and his, and his daughter's like... Dad, you beat the bad guy with a dad joke? And he's like, yes, yes, I did. <laughs> and you know all about dad jokes, right? My husband <laughs> yeah. loves the dad jokes. Okay, so Chloe and I are very punny, but when it comes to dad jokes, like, he's, he's the best. Okay, so <laughs> moving on to finished projects. Stuff we have finished. Um, I've been working on Scrabble tile necklaces. Well, that's upside down. Yeah. So Chloe got her first custom order this past week for it a was an M. For an M. And I also, during that, while making it, I made this. She's made a couple of different ones, and so see, I haven't let her use the soldering gun yet. Mom uses the soldering but gun, but I too. think because we do the soldering on the back of it. Yeah, she I soldered. This don't one. think you can see that one. No, you can't see the soldering. Um. Good toss. Thanks. I'm shocked that made. Uh, and then, so the kids had got glasses a couple. The kids got glasses during their school year last year, and my rule is on your face, on your face or in your case. Mom made us these Smurfs. I got Vexy and Micah got Brainy. And the way I make my instead of having it on the face like Vexy's wearing it, I put it up like their shades because I think Vexy looks very silly with glasses. She does. But Chloe doesn't. Chloe looks very pretty with her glasses. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a real person. Yes. Um, I finished the piranha plants. Um, I got had two of them. And I wrote up the pattern as I went. And I released the pattern, which was good. For the expo, I crocheted up a whole bunch of superhero masks. 
Um, we had fun taking pictures with those ones. It was, yeah, one thing that I really enjoyed is when you had them all laid out in size. You had, like, your large ones, and then you got smaller all the way down to really kid. Baby, child, teen, and adults is the four sizes. Yes, and they were all laid out like this. And the funniest part was when Quinto was like, ooh, love me, jumped on it, and, and he, he landed but all four paws on them and slipped. <laughs> they went flying, and he went flying. It was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we got a video of that. Oh, I know. It's the times that you wish you had, we were recording something and something really funny happens. Don't record it. Yeah. Um, uh, for the expo, Nana also made a whole bunch of superhero bags. So we called them eco-friendly geek totes. <laughs> eco. <laughs> because they're economy friendly, right? So Because you reuse the tote, you, you reuse the bags instead of using plastic bags, right? So you can use them for shopping or as yarn bags or market totes, whatever you want. You could use them as a purse. Mm -hmm. and Last year you made one. And yes, I, you, I remember a guy for the Gambit take on a guy in a wheelchair carrying and bought a Yoda, and yeah, he's was, like, was, "I don't care that it's a purse. It's Yoda. You can't argue with Yoda." And it was really cute because it was the pink. It was like a, a, a pink, pink as my shirt, like this color pink with a black silhouette of Yoda. It was really cute. These are the ones that I painted on last year. So Nana sewed up the bags and I painted them. I hand painted them. But these were the geek bags that she just made with uh, superhero fabric. 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 <laughs> and so uh, he sounded like if Marvin didn't work, he go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you sounded you like to. I'm so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so this week I updated my Etsy shop with mm, the bags, the bags, and the jellyfish that Nana also made, and everything else that was in the trade show box. So if you have seen my work, you were at the Etsy. The, if you were at the expo, expo and didn't, didn't buy, buy anything, anything, I posted them on my Facebook page and buy them on my there. Etsy. So not very many projects actually finished this month just because my shoulder is still being stupid. Hey, but made, it is start. I made two necklaces. Three. Three, 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 three necklaces. Three, 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 three necklaces. Because um, you know the little pickle we had on the video not that long ago? My friend Ammo, we made a, I made another gift for her with... Um, it was so a scrap that's, that's the third gift you've given her because Two. you gave her the oh yeah that is three. the buntuk that you made on the loom you gave her the pickle and then you gave her the scrapple tail necklace what did she think of it oh um she looked at it and was like what is it and I'm like it's a necklace and she's like why is there an A on it and I'm like that's the that's the jewel for my A and she's like oh that makes sense and then she put it on and she's like. There's purple beads and green wire. My favorite colors. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so I let's I move. Let's move on to our acquisitions. 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 So we acquired our shirts. Acquired. I gave Chloe her shirt, and my friend gave me this shirt, which is awesome. Shirt. And we got a package from my pal in Newfoundland. It was. A box full of full of yarn. <laughs> Overflowing. It's pretty full of yarn. Um, my friend Anita of Sparkling Doom Designs gave me one of her cup cozies of Princess Leia. Oh, I thought I brought that down. I guess I didn't. No, but I took a picture of me using it today. <laughs> Aha, I drank a latte. <laughs> Thanks a, thanks a latte, latte, Anita, for my cup cozy. Ma Mom. I, I think you Anita some more. <laughs> she's yes. Anita. She's Anita. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you are so my daughter. <laughs> Apples don't far far from the tree. No, they don't. So the other acquisition I got was um it was like I don't know, like 9.30 at night, and I got a t uh, message on Facebook Messenger from a friend. Um, and she said, I left a bag of yarn on your step. I'm like, oh, okay, well, that was nice. Can I go grab it? Apparently her mom is no longer able to 
knit and crochet because she's in a care home and she's unable to take. So my friend was like, yeah, I left this on your bag. Can I get it? It's right there. I'm getting And it. I was expecting, you know, like a, a, grocery, a bag. grocery bag of oh. yarn. Okay, please don't knock yeah. anything over. Okay, yeah, I won't. Oh, wait. I'm falling. I'm falling. I'm falling. I'm falling. <laughs> this. This is the bag of yarn she gave me. It's like a huge garbage bag full. And so, no, just here. It is, there, I laid it out and counted it. There was 41 skeins of yarn. Like, 41 skeins. Like this. That's not... Some of them had things on them. Like, this yeah. one has yeah. a scarf started. So... Can I unravel no. it? No. So, 41 skeins of yarn in this bag. And... That's not including the little pieces that were balled up. And there's also a something on the needles here. Like on, actually on knitting needles still. So I feel really bad that um, she, she can't it. knit and crochet anymore. Oh. Looks like a perfect size. So I'm actually going to go through and figure out what the pattern is, sit down and write it out, and then I'm going to work up and finish this blanket for her. So this is going to get added to my works in progress list. And I guess that moves us right into works in progress, hey? It works in progress. I'm making so, the Scrabble tile letter things. So those were finished projects and more works in progress because you're going to make a bunch more of them. Oh, I didn't, I suppose I didn't post the, the, the necklaces on Etsy yet, so I will make sure I do that. Once I make more, I so, still have a, two bags of, of letters to finish. So on my works in progress list, I guess I'm adding on this blanket. I am working on the baby blanket for my friend's little daughter, my friend who is like a sister, who I guess is auntie to my kids. Still working on the Mercury socks. I finished a sock though. This was my first time actually knitting socks. I've never knit socks before. I've only done like scarves or blankets or dishcloths. So I guess when I turned my heel, I picked up way too many stitches. So here's, here's a picture of it. Um, so you can see it doesn't fit my foot properly and I need to work on closing the toe. So, um, our local yarn shop actually offers classes on knitting and socks. So I think I might actually end up taking a sock class from her because there's math involved and I don't math very well. So on the Princess Chloe blanket... I finally figured out what it is. She figured out what it is. So my Princess Chloe blanket, I finished up to row 12 because I was able to do some work on it over the last weeks while I wasn't actually knitting or crocheting. Mom, I was able to stitch them together with do? my left hand. You should like finish off a row and then just make it in the seat, like in rows like this, because that will be so much easier for you. I don't know. Like how you do the C2C C stitches where they look like blocks, except like this, instead of going corner to corner. So you're saying stitch a whole entire row together and then and make sew it, it flat. together? And then like make it flat and then just um, do it the stitch that you do for the C2C, except... I can't do that because I've already got all of the, the granny squares already made up. I know what you do. Yes, all of the granny squares are already made up. Oh. They're in that drawer right over there. You've been hiding them from me. Yeah. I'm looking and I'm going to bring them and I'm going to show them... Show everybody what they I look like. made up all of these blocks. Down them. Oh, you just shook the... Just I take off the whole bag. Take out the bag. I have a block. This is like four or five of them? This is five. So I made them up, and then I wrapped them into... So it is just quite literally just one row of a granny square. And I wrapped them up in groups of five. Like this. So I could keep track of how many I made. There was over... A thousand, I want to say it was 1,100 squares. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and I'm only on 12 rows. I think there's like 35 or 36 rows. I don't know. I'll have to double check on my pattern. But I have that as a project on my Ravelry. And I haven't actually done anything on the modified log cabin square since I hurt my shoulder again. Um, I know I've got, I've got five rows completely finished and all sewn together, stitched together. Whatever it is. I've got five rows all put together, and so I'm working on row six, and I think, 
I don't think I'm going to crochet anything over the next couple of days just because my shoulder is pretty aching right now because from crocheting or from knitting earlier today. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. Well, that is everything. Look, that's everything I had on my list to talk about. Wow, we covered it all. We covered it all. That's pretty <laughs> awesome. Most um, of the time we miss something or, or other. Yeah. I don't say something and it's like, oh, I didn't say that after the video. So do we have anything else to say? I, I love know. you. And I love comic books. I love you too. I love and comic I lo books too. <laughs> I've been reading Doctor Who comic books. Because we started watching the show and then... The last time we were at the, not the last time, but the time before that, that we were at the library, Chloe went into the teen section. And she found the comic book section in the, in the teen section, which is where she found the... Spider-Man Spider one where the Spider-Man was a dad. It was, was dad funny. Because... Anyhow, and so she found, while we were there, there was a whole bunch of Doctor Who novel with the ninth Doctor. So those ones are pretty good. And I think I'm going to get, I've, I'm going to get out some of the other ones from... The original series, which I haven't actually watched yet. We're, we started on the ninth Doctor, mm -hmm. and now we're at the tenth we're Doctor. We're watching the tenth Doctor. I don't know, I don't think we have anything else to say. Like and subscribe, and thanks so much for watching our vlog. Episode 3. Episode 3. And like, like and, subscribe, and subscribe, and you'll see, see us on, on the next video. video. Bye. And beautiful Margie from Marginous Creations is here. <laughs> oh, honey. Okay. Ten seconds should be good for a test. How do you stop it now? Uh, so Nana has been working on helping my friend with her wedding dress and so she was here today doing some alterations on it and she didn't have, I couldn't find my pincushion for her. So she took some of Chloe's felt, Chloe's felt that Chloe's been felting with lately and she made <laughs> a pincushion. She took three, I don't know, yeah, three colors.
and then just used the blanket stitch and did it there and stuffed it with stuffed it really good with the polyfill. Yeah. She's leaving it here. So we have a new little bed cushion. There's a block. Rectangle. Yeah. And she put eyes on it. I had ordered safety eyes. Um I can't remember what side I ordered them off of, but I ordered a whole bunch of them. And yeah, so we've been using them on the felt projects. So this is the very first Lego block tissue cover that I made. And they just pull out like that. I'm going to have to make a whole bunch more. I made this for my friend, um, uh, Ow My Foot. She does custom Lego jewelry. So I figured I'd share with you guys um, my living room. This is my spot. The mermaid tail, that's my spot. My little lady lamp. Uh, and so my... Whatever that's called end table is usually piled with me yarn and my project bags are usually here when I sit there and I work on it throughout the day. The center is <laughs> stacked with things and this is full, oh it's got patterns in it, of yarn and that's where I keep my little labels. Okay, so I'm working currently the Proto Man Flower Blanket and I've moved over to the couch because it is just so big with so much uh, extra yarn that it's taken up so much space. Hi Quinto! Hey Quinto! And yes, this, this metal thing is a toilet paper roll. Uh, it's supposed to be for a bathroom, and uh, it's been broken by the kids because we had it when they were littler. And so hubby bent it, turned it upside down, and bent it so it's that way. And the ball from my winder fit really nice on... These are aluminum foil. Aluminum. Aluminum. Whatever it is the foil wrapper cardboard round things like toilet paper roll and so I've cut them down to smaller sizes and uh, the yarn fits on there and it just comes off nicely That is awesome. It was Jared, right? Yes. Gareth? Gareth? Jared. From the laboratory. Oh, that is Here. 